Wow. What's going on YouTube family? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to today's video. I am extremely hyped for today's video because I'm bringing you guys another food challenge and in today's video, I'm not eating just one box of cereal, but I'm eating two boxes of cereal. And we're gonna be doing one box of Fruity Pebbles and one box of the Fruit Loops Marshmallows, which I saw these when I was looking down the aisle and I thought that they would be perfect for today's video. I've never had them before. I'm really hyped to try them. You guys know, if you follow me on Instagram, that I love cereal, so I'm extremely hyped for this challenge. For the milk, we're gonna be doing the 30 calorie silk almond unsweetened vanilla, which is currently my favorite for cereal, for protein shakes and whatnot. So the inspo for this challenge actually came from a Max Tuning video. He actually did the same challenge a couple months back. I don't think he did the same two cereals, but ever since I saw him do it, I thought it would be a lot of fun to recreate for my own channel. And yeah, it's gonna be a lot of fun. It's not really gonna be like a time challenge per se, but I am really curious to see how long it takes me to throw down these two boxes of cereal. So go ahead and pause the video right now, smash the thumbs up button for me because it helps the channel grow. And quitting isn't an option today, so go ahead and drop me a comment down below letting me know how long you guys think it's gonna take me to finish both of these boxes of cereal. So no more talking, let's fill this bowl up and get into the challenge. I'm actually going to be mixing both cereals throughout this whole challenge. I'm not sure how these two are gonna taste together, but I'm sure they'll taste bomb. How could they not taste bomb when it's cereal? I'm like debating whether or not I should pour this whole, damn, pour this whole box in, yeah. That is the whole box, which I don't know if you guys can see. Doesn't look too intimidating. I'm not gonna probably be able to fit this whole box of the Fruit Loops marshmallows in there, but we may have to finish it off afterwards. This is actually starting to look pretty intimidating. Uh, here we go. It's been so long since I've done one of these. I don't know if I'm even ready for the stomach ache I'm gonna get, but it's pretty full. I definitely could fill it up with more of the Fruit Loops, but um, don't wanna create like a huge mess. Also, let me know down below, are you guys team cereal before milk or are you guys team milk before cereal? Um, I'm not gonna judge you either way, but just so you know, and obviously you can tell, I am team cereal before milk. I've done it my whole life and this is the only way to do it, so. Got myself a big spoon for the big challenge, the big bowl of cereal. This is literally insane, but let's get into it. I'm seriously gonna get such a fat pump from holding this big bowl throughout this whole challenge. I would have filmed this in the kitchen, but my roommate is sleeping, so we're filming it in my room right now. Um, and we're just gonna have to get a fatty pump, I guess, while we eat this. With all these challenges, I always think the best strategy is to eat like whatever you're eating as fast as you possibly can so your stomach doesn't know it's getting full and like the stretch receptors don't even know what's going on. Uh, so that's why I'm taking like such big bites if you guys are wondering. This is gonna be a lot harder than I thought it was gonna be. Also, I realized I never told you guys how many calories are in both of these boxes of cereal. So 
I'll throw up the calorie count on the screen now for you guys. I did decide to go with the almond silk milk just because I figured I was going to be eating all this just because I figured I was going to be eating this much food already and I wanted something that was going to be a little easier on my stomach and I figured I was going to have to use like a lot of milk so I decided to go with almond milk instead of regular milk. Pray for me, YouTube fam, pray for me. That whole like milk carton is pretty much like already gone. Insane. I'm actually gonna flip on some Netflix right now and try to distract myself from eating all this cereal. So, yeah. Probably gonna put on some Clone Wars as soon as my Netflix connects. there but this freaking milk is making it like five billion times harder
For all you guys at home watching this and that are considering doing this challenge, I highly recommend you add milk slowly to this because I don't think that eating all the cereal was difficult, but definitely trying to like finish off all the milk and because this the cereal is obviously like mixed all in with the milk. The milk just makes everything so much more difficult, so definitely use as little milk as possible. Wow. So normally when I eat cereal, I probably have like four or five servings at like one time, just because it's easy for me. So I thought, well, there's like 10 servings in here and 10 or so in there. Wouldn't be that challenging, but man, I feel my stomach is really sick. Really sick, but totally worth it something like that but I uh, it's been a long time since I've had any fruity cereal so this was actually like really tasty um, but just probably wouldn't prefer to eat that much all at once <laughs> and I want to thank you guys again so much for watching go ahead and leave me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video comment down below if you guys want to see more food challenges in the near future And if you guys are new to the channel hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you guys stay up to date on all my future content I make food challenge videos obviously I make fitness videos I make videos about PA school, I make vlogs, so I make a wide variety of different types of videos and there's probably something for you guys to enjoy. So until next time fam, never be held down.